Uh, my name is Bruce Dern. I'm not from Nebraska, but I'm in Nebraska, and uh, I'm thrilled to be a part of this whole thing that's been going on since Can last May. I love it. Uh, this is Kevin Costner, and uh, be sure and uh, watch me on Entertainment and Sports today, if you would, please. Okay, stay tuned for Entertainment and Sports today. That's great. That's great. Entertainment and Sports today is the 20th anniversary. I'm a gambler, babe. I bet sports every day. I have five going on right now. Wow. So I love it, you know. And, and sports are not just entertaining, but what you have going on over in Russia right now is opera. Because the Olympic Games are opera. And the World Cup is opera. And you guys cover it. It's the best. Hi, I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. Stay tuned and watch her on Entertainment and Sports Today. So stay tuned. Hello, this is Steve Taylor for Entertainment and Sports Today. We're here live at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills and Hollywood. Can't wait for more of both entertainment and sports today. Tonight. Thank you very much. Well, uh, you know, it's not—it's certainly not a summer tentpole film. It's—it's it's complex material. It's—it's it's, uh, a, a moving story. But you know, I, I find there's—you know—there was enough people who got behind us in the end and wanted to be a part of the same thing. Saw what we saw in the story. Um, beautiful script by John Ridley and Steve. And uh, uh, I don't expect them to be easy. So. It's part for the course. It's, it's not often a movie like this comes along. I, I think maybe every decade or so. So to be a part of it is a real thrill. I work with this man, who I consider one of the best in the business. And this amazing performance by this cast. Chiwetel Ejiofor leads it, and Lapita Nyong'o, a new, a new uh, up-and-comer. It's really special. Um, it was a privilege, and I think also, I mean, we couldn't have pulled it all together without Brad. I mean, that was just, it's, just, it's a given. Um, it's one of those things which you want to make something, but you have to find someone who has the courage and the belief in you that you can make it. And of course, uh, Brad made it, pull it together, and uh, we're just happy to be here, really. It's kind of strange to make something, and it's made. It's kind of odd. He's being kind. We wouldn't be here without Steve McQueen. And that, of course, was Steve McQueen, the um, director, and Brad Pitt, the producer of 12 Years a Slave. I gotta, I gotta say, I, I shed a tear. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Awesome duo. I mean, oh my God, Brad Pitt and, and Steve McQueen, you guys are amazing. What an amazing movie. What, what Thank you. Decide to pick this movie? Well, Steve came up with the idea, and we were fans of Steve's, and, and, and he resurrected Solomon Orthup's story, and uh, it, was, it was apparent that this is something that, it on, that only comes along every decade or so. It's a really special story. What does it mean to you? What it, mean, what it means to me, the story, the film? No, it, it means everything. I mean, you know, again, I don't, you know, I don't think in my life I will possibly not, you know, if I hopefully get, make, get a chance to make a movie again or movies again, I don't think... I I'll, think he will. Well, I don't think I'll ever, I, I ever make anything more important. I hope I'll make something hopefully better. <laughs> I don't know, but nothing more important. So that's, that's why I feel about it. It means everything to me. Do you think this team will work together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying you to think? do a good job with him. <laughs> he might consider you. I'll put in a good word. Hi, Angelina. How are you? God, could you look any more gorgeous? My God. Oh, you're very sweet. Now, what inspired you to do this movie? Well, I've been traveling around the world for over 10 years and just witnessing a lot of uh, conflict and post-conflict situations and violence against women and lack of intervention. And, and really just, I wanted to analyze, I wanted to do a story where I... I, I I studied how human beings are affected by war. So sisters, fathers and sons, lovers, just people. Because I could never understand, and I still don't quite understand, how is it that people that could be neighbors and lovers and friends can, can get to a place where they start to kill each other? And I think if we can understand that, or at least understand what is put upon them to push them in that direction, we can start to understand the importance of an early intervention. We can start to help them heal. And so this was the the point for, of it. You know, I've, I've seen you in so many interviews and 
and I got to say, I mean, you're so gorgeous, but inside and out, because you've done so much for so many people. It's just, it's, it's inspiring. And you take care of, what, six kids and a husband and a career. I mean, how do you keep it all together? Well, we, we take turns working, so we never, we never film at the same time. So one of us is always home with the kids. So, um, you know, our family's first, and we are very lucky to have the chances with our careers that we have. And what is the secret to this relationship? How do you keep it? Uh, just, uh, we're, uh, we have, you know, we have the same, uh, we have the same values and the same, uh, so, so our core is the same. What we, what we fight for, what we believe in is the same. And that trickles into everything from the way we treat each other to the way we raise our children. And last question, best advice you ever received? Oh, God. I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> well, this film almost took uh, seven to eight years to, to put up on screen. So, look, I mean, for me, to be able to be a producer and try to find stuff that's outside of the studio system has always been my goal. And this, is, this and The Aviator were the two projects in my lifetime that I really pushed as hard as I possibly could to get made. So it's a, it's a huge honor that it's, that it's being, you know, uh, recognized like this. It really is. I think, like everyone else, the shock that I was nominated is in myself and as well as everyone else. But, you know, I, uh, the fact that I, I chose to start making different kinds of films and was allowed to be in them and was actually hired to be the coup, all of this is, you can't do anything about this. You just appreciate it and, and, and say thank you. And, Hi, Bruce. Here we are with Academy Award nominee, Bruce Stern. Uh, we just finished interviewing um, uh, Will Forte, and he had nothing but wonderful things to say about you. He said that you treated him like an equal, and he said, I didn't feel like I was an equal. Oh, he is an equal. Treated, That's what I thought, but uh, he said no. Oh, he's, he's the nicest kid I ever met in this industry, oh, far and away. Oh, and uh, the fact that he lent that to us and to Nebraska and did it the way he did it, is uh, just fabulous. Uh, it, it, his performance makes our movie. Oh, that's wonderful to say. Uh, can I ask you, um, what's the best advice you'd give an up-and-coming actor? What's the what? Best advice you would give an up-and-coming actor? That it's an endurance contest. Understand that in the marathon, nobody races until we've all done 16 miles. So understand, put in your time. And every single one of us will have three minutes in a room someday. And when you get in that room and get your three minutes, the only thing you have to leave that is something nobody's ever seen before is a piece of yourself. If you're willing to risk doing that publicly, I mean, open your heart and your three minutes, you just might have a hell of a career. But if you don't do that, go do game shows. You know? <laughs> that is some awesome advice. Oh, and what's your best life advice? My what? Best life advice. Keep dreaming. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening tonight. Uh, it's a lot of stuff I want to do. I want to get done. There are a lot of stories that I want to tell. Uh, I, I truthfully don't think that the real American story has been told yet. What makes a good producer knows film back to front and can get something off the ground and, um, and has a good sense of material and, um, and knows how to bring a particular script uh, to its um, to its biggest and best potential. And now a word from our sponsors. And it's Hollywood's biggest night. March 2nd at the Globe Theater at Universal Studios Hollywood. Red carpet, auction, dinner, and viewing of the Academy Awards. For tickets, call 818-686-7323 or email rsvp at mendpoverty.org. For more details, go to www.menpoverty.org. Hey, welcome back, dude. How you doing? The expense of travel shouldn't keep you from the things you love. We'll get you where you want to be for as low as one dollar. 
Megabus.com provides daily express bus service with free Wi-Fi and power outlets so you can stay connected to the things that matter most. Stay connected. Megabus.com.